Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you a quick tip on how to change the aggregation or calculation type in Power BI. In previous videos also I have shown you a bit of an ad hoc level as to how you would change but here we will take a fresh aspect to it and go a little bit into the detail. Alright so what we will do is create a chart or the table chart or maybe the matrix chart where we can take a couple of fields and see how we can change the aggregation and before I do that just a quick information that this sheet is present in the description so if you want to jump on to any of the previous video the title and the link is present so that you can easily search all the previously posted video and I keep on updating the links all right Let's move ahead to the Power BI and see it in action. All right, so here I am in the Power BI and what I need is, let's say a table chart over here and I'll just expand this little bit and what I can take uh, as the product subcategory, as the field where I can show you the dimensions, then we can change the sales and uh, we can change, we can take the profit we can take the discount, we can take the order quantity. Now, if we will observe this, you will see that a visualization is being created, uh, slightly small. So maybe in the form, the formatting, we can go and change the values formatting, maybe the font size, if we just try to increase a little bit so that we can easily see. All right, I think this should be sufficient, right? Okay, so this is good where we can see the value. Uh, we have this titles uh, for which which is not displayed. Again, the title information is given over here. Not the title, I guess uh, this, this should be your column headers. Column headers, again, we can increase it from here. So just a little bit of aesthetics that we may want to play with. Okay, so we have this information and uh, the aggregation information is present here if we go back to the field section and in the field section what do we have is basically the sales and if I want to change the aggregation I can just click on this small drop down button and whatever I want I can choose this so maybe in this scenario the total sales total profit makes sense but the discount does not make sense so what do you have is if I just select this again back to display the the fields the discount here in this case should not be some because that will going to sum up all the discount which is given on each order. But ideally, in this case, the right metric for this is the average, right? So what is the average discount which has been given? So now you see the situation is completely changed where continuously I think that's a practice which has been followed in this data set or maybe in this company since it is a fictional, so not, not using the real term, but maybe in the real world company, the the discount behavior is that 5% discount is on an average is given on each and every product. Okay, now similarly with the order quantity. So this is show, showing you the total order quantity. However, this is fine, but generally you may want to see it as the average quantity. Like you can take the average and you would have the average of the quantity over here so now we have some for profit some for sorry some for sales some for profit we have average discount and we have average order quantity and we have changed the two different aggregations but what if if you want to also see the minimum and maximum order quantity in that case what we already have is the average order quantity we can bring in this field again over here order quantity is present here I'll just expand that and what do we have is the order quantity from where we can choose the maximum okay so I'll just hide this I'll hide this as well and what you will see is we have maximum order quantity so across the product subcategories the maximum order quantity that we have is the 50 but what is the minimum order quantity so what you will going to do Either you will change this to minimum, but if you want to have a separate field, again, you will bring in the order quantity and you will see that you will find the minimum as well for the each of the product sub product category. So minimum is one. 
maximum is what the 50 is so this is generally an information we may want to give that uh, to our management as to what is our average order quantity what is the maximum order quantity what is the minimum order quantity and that will going to help us understand the behavior of the sale uh, based on the data that we are collecting so once we have this information we have a couple of more things over here like for example we have the count standard deviation for those statistical scenarios the variance again used to understand the measure of variation median in case your data is skewed or your data has outliers the median is the right value but this is a whole together separate topic to understand when to use average when to use median and when to use mode also we have one more thing as show value as no calculation or percent of grand total so if we click on percent of grand total what you see is basically the percentage based on the grand total so here in this case everything is 100 percent does not make a whole lot of sense so what we can do is come over here on the profit show the value as and we'll change to the percent of total and now if you see the percent of total and if we just sort this by clicking over here so we have the maximum profit in telephones and communication with the 20.86 percent and the loss making category that we have is the table so now you see how the perspective have changed that suppose you have the profit as well as the percentage this will going to show you where you are leading where you are lagging in terms of percentage because with the percentage you can compare two categories very easily like we can clearly see that 11 percent is far more better than 0.44 percent but if we have a value let's say this is 1 million and this is uh, 1.1 million again this will not tell us a whole lot of things right so, so that's why percentage is very helpful so these these are some of the important calculation types our measure changing the aggregation type i wanted to show you along with that the functionality that you can bring in multiple one field multiple times in case if you need this for your uh, user or for your end users who are requesting you for this information so that's about how you would going to change the aggregation as well as going to take multiple fields based on your needs of the analysis now i'll meet you in the next video